Hey, this is Matthew from anotherworldterraria.com. Today, I'm going to show you one of the many ways that you can propagate terrarium moss. As with most of the tutorials and content about bryophytes that I put out, I am specifically focused on tropical and subtropical species. I'm not going to go over any points about wild collected moss, temperate species, or any other considerations such as quarantining, disinfection, and so forth. Those topics are really complex and they're outside the scope of this basic tutorial. In this example, I'm going to use tropical moss, which I have already been growing in a small container, and I want to increase the speed at which I get a larger amount of moss from that sample. First, I'm just going to grab some sphagnum moss that's pre-moistened with distilled water, and I'm going to squeeze out the excess, because you don't want it to be soggy, you just want it to be moist. I'm going to place that into my deli container, and just kind of fluff it up and pack it down in there till it's flat. Now I'm going to grab my existing moss. You can see a small piece that was growing in a little tiny container. Now I'm going to break that up into small pieces. And I'm going to separate them by a little bit of space and just kind of place them down in the container. So essentially I'm taking this small bit of moss and I'm expanding it out to kind of fill a larger space. But since there's gaps in between all the pieces, that gives the moss room to grow. It will fill in all of that empty space and become a larger container of moss. Now I'm just going to pack that down and firm it so that the moss is in contact with the sphagnum. Then I'm going to mist it in with distilled water to make sure it's moist. Now I'm going to use worm castings as a fertilizer. Worm castings is a natural organic fertilizer that's really good for fertilizing moss and other plants. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit on top of the moss. Now I'm going to mist that in with distilled water again just to get the excess worm castings and sphagnum down into the container and make sure everything is moist. Now I have my lid which I've already cut holes in with a knife. So I have a ventilation and I'm just going to snap that on top. 